Hello everyone. This video gives a brief explanation of the working proof of concept for blockchain based vehicle registration system. The demo helps easing the complex vehicle registration process. Let us first comprehend the roles of different stakeholders active from the vehicle registration procedure. Number one is the manufacturer, who pushes the automobile to blockchain by adding basic details and modulates the selling of the motor car or truck. Number two is the trader, who executes the selling of this vehicle to this end customer. Number three is the registration authority. RTO will probably be responsible for approving registrations and offering the registration range, doing automobile transports and vehicle resale. Number four are the authorities who are in charge of giving clearance for transport and sale of a car in addition to issues challenge for traffic violations. Number 5 is the service center, referral service information such as project cards along with role replacements. Number 6 are the customer slash automobile owners, approve sensitive information trade like personally identifiable information. Through this basic prototype, the registration authorities are able to view the citizens register their vehicles and view the details along with the history of the vehicle. Coming on the technical aspects. The prototype has been developed on Hyperledger Fabric Framework. In a blockchain solution, the blockchain network works as a back-end, with an application front-end, to communicate with the network using a SDK. To set up the communication between front-end and back-end, Hyperledger Fabric Community offers a number of SDKs, of which we have used the Java SDK. Through the Java SDK, we have managed the life cycle of Hyperledger channels and execute user chain code. The following aspects will be demonstrated in this prototype. First, create and initialize blockchain channel for the system. Second, install and instantiate chain code which has the registration logic implemented to interact with the ledger. Third, register and enroll the users in the network. And fourth, perform invoke and query on the blockchain network. So let's get started. In order to register a vehicle for a particular citizen of the nation, we firstly need to register the citizen into the system. To register a citizen we need to mention his basic details like National Identity Number Address First Name And Last Name Once a citizen is successfully registered into the network, the system notifies us with a positive response. After which we shall register the vehicle by mentioning the details like Registration ID This could either be system generated or unettered manually. We have kept it manually as for now. Vehicle Type Company Model Chassis Number Engine Number Recorded Distance Citizen Address Number, which is the citizen's national identity. On click of Submit, the chain code forms a new chain of the registered vessel initializing the Genesis block. Once initialized successfully, registration authorities are notified that the network has stored the registration details of the vehicle to the mentioned national identity number. Any registration authority is able to view the details of any vehicle by just mentioning the registration ID. The chain code fetches the latest node's details of the specified registration ID from the blockchain network and displays the current details of the vehicle and its recorded distance as well. On the right we see the current owner of the vehicle along with his national identity. The Vesile owner is provided a mobile application where he is able to log in by entering his national identity number. In the upcoming updates we are planning to integrate authentication mechanisms as well for authorized login. Once the user logs into the system, he is able to view the list of the vehicles owned by him. The user is able to update the distance traveled by the vehicle. This shall trigger the chain in the network and shall add another transaction to the block with the updated vessile distance. Also the user is able to change his ownership of the vehicle by just mentioning the national identity. As this is just a prototype we can further enhance by entering verification mechanisms for transferring the ownership in the chain code. If the vehicle's ownership is transferred a new node is appended into the chain of that vehicle. 
The same is reflected in the government's registration panel. Also the authorized registration authority would be able to view all the transactions which are the updates of the registered vehicle by just entering the vehicle registration ID. As the procedure for vehicle registration has been cumbersome. It is really a time-taking process, in which parties are included and poses a chance of data manipulation, information duplication, and various glitches. During a situation like this, crucial advice even becomes non-traceable or can become highly exposed to frauds and data intercepted. By bringing blockchain into the film and also going to vehicle registration procedure to blockchain, a number of those issues can easily be taken care of. Blockchain comes to the rescue by reducing the typical turnaround period. Additionally, vehicle registration on blockchain ecosystem will help reduce the risk of attacks and frauds, as information updates are potential by licensed personnel employing a personal secret. The truth is that any tampering of info may be easily tracked on blockchain. Hope this video was helpful to provide a brief glance of the proof of concept of the importance of blockchain in various government areas. For more information, please refer to www.agileinfoways.com. Thank you.